Hello, this is Richard with Odessa Sewing Machine and Sewing Machine Tips and Tricks. Today, we have a Singer 221 uh, Featherweight, and we have the cord that goes to it, which is an absolute mess. You can see here that uh, it's been taped up there and taped up here, and it's really, it's really just in really bad shape. In fact, um, if you, uh, all you gotta do is just, just like this, just bend it and it starts coming apart. You can see that, in fact, just that little bit, you can already see the wire in it right there. So, um, what we're gonna do today is we are going to rewire this and there are two different ways of doing this. You can uh, either buy your wire and your plug and stuff separately um, or in this case a kit like I've got um, and rewire it or you can buy a little I guess what I'd call a wiring harness which is you've already got this piece now this one is a uh, hard plastic that unscrews and comes apart so you can rewire it in the wiring harness uh this is a molded piece of plastic um so it doesn't come apart um and it already has a whole nother cord cap on it it's uh built in and then it has two uh ends here where you just uh take this apart and hook it up and you're ready to go at that point in this video i'm going to show you how to rewire this whole thing because a lot of people like to keep these old plugs um, but if you're not real careful you can break these these will break real easy especially when you're trying to put them back together and there's a lot of wire in here um, and it can be really hard to get everything back in there the way it goes and in the right spot I've seen a lot of, I've had a lot of people bring these in to me after they tried to rewire them and they couldn't get them, couldn't get them to work. Some of them, they broke these. Uh, some of them, they just couldn't get them back together because they're, uh, they're kind of difficult. What I will recommend, anytime you're working on a machine, whether wiring or anything else, and you're not 100% sure of what you're doing, when you open something up and you're like, oh, wow. Take pictures right there, right then and there, take pictures, because that's going to help you, excuse me, that's going to help you to better understand it when you're trying to put it back together. But in this video, I'm going to show you how the proper way to do this, and I'm not joking, this, this can be a pain, this can be a pain in the butt sometimes to get back together, but we're going to do it, and you're going to see how it's done, all righty? With that, let's go. Let's get going. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this, we're going to take the wire out of this so you can see what this looks like and see the proper way to take it apart. Um, sometimes these can be hard to get apart and trying to pull it apart, you, you can break the corners off. So let's do this first. So you need a flathead screwdriver and you're just gonna take these out, just like this. Okay, and this, again, this Bakelite is very easy to break. Uh, your screw's gonna look, I can get it to, uh, your screw's gonna kinda look like this, okay? Um, trying to get my camera to focus in on it, it's hard. All right, so these are the type of screws that go in it. And I tell you that because sometimes I see them with all different types of screws, but this is the type, this is the type of screw that goes in it, okay? So we're gonna take those out. Now these feet, these feet aren't gonna come off until this bottom piece come, comes out, okay? They're built, they're made so that the feet go on, uh, the inside and the outside. So if you try to pull them, if you try to pull them out before all the rest of this comes apart, you'll just break them or uh, possibly break the bakelite. <laughs> so 
First things first, get all this out. This one doesn't look like it's gonna to be too hard to get apart. Looks like it's coming right apart. This kind of lifted up as I was uh, undoing it, so I'll probably come, come apart pretty easily. Um, make sure you get all these out, because if you don't, you're liable to lose it when you start pulling it apart. So make sure you get all the screws out and uh, put them in a safe space, safe place. Okay, in fact, I need, <clears throat> I like to use old coffee cans. So I'm gonna use an old coffee can and put all my stuff in. I'll just put it over there out of the way. All right, now, a couple of things. When these things are hard to get off, if you take a screwdriver and you put in here like this, and you go like this, you're going to break this. Don't do it. Uh, a lot of times, you can take this cord, and especially if you're already replacing it, it doesn't matter, okay? And you can pull on it. Now, see, this is coming apart, and I'm, trust me, they don't all just come apart like that. Some of them are hard to get apart, and you have to be careful, okay? So you can take the cord and pull on it, It'll start coming out and take a screwdriver and put in here. Now you are not going to just go crazy and start doing this. You'll break this. You're just going to slowly work it apart. Okay. And eventually the ones that are stuck, you'll hear them. They'll start uh, letting loose and you're, you'll hear them start letting loose. All right. So you're going to work that apart and then just take this off. Now, so that you don't lose anything. You're just going to take all these off. See how they just slide on there? Okay. Make note of how they just slide on there. This is the bottom. This is the top. Okay. Just like that. And then put them away. Now, a lot of times when you open this up, it's just dirty as dirty can be inside. And as you can see, this one is too. It's dirty. So I have to clean it up before I put it back together. Now, this one seems to have been painted in here. I'm going to clean all this up some too. This is one of the contacts. This. And then it engages to these two contacts right here. Okay. So I'm going to clean this up. Because it doesn't look like it's making real good contact there. We want to make sure that that makes the best contact possible. Alright. But for now. We're going to do these screws. Now normally these screws don't come. Well they will. They will come completely out. You got to be careful. But sometimes they can be hard. Sometimes they can be hard to get out. Other times, not so much. Okay. I'm going to point something out to you. Maybe. Let me get this out. Okay. I'm going to put these away. Now. I want you to notice how that's kind of raised up right there, okay? Where that where it threads in, it's kind of raised, all right? And these, the way they're made, these ends, are, it's a special type connector, and you see how thick they are. So when you put these on there and you screw them down, then they screw down just fine, just like they're supposed to. But if you take modern-day connectors... That are real thin and you put on there and try to screw them down they're real loose and because they're real loose they'll tend to move on you you got to make sure that there's no play in here that they're not real loose whether you put a washer in here or whatever you do these have got to be tight otherwise it won't work right all right we'll go over that some more in a bit for now this gets put out of the way <laughs> oh one other thing when you're uh, doing this, this little pedal here, it will come out, okay? This is the way it goes, just like that, okay? That's the way it goes in. It does not go the other way. And normally, it won't even fit, just like this one's not fitting. Once in a while, you'll find one that'll fit in there. Um, it'll slide down, but when you go to put this back in there, it won't work, all right? So, that right there is the way it goes. Remember that, okay? 
And remember, it comes apart because you don't want to you don't want to drop it on the floor and break it. If it hits uh, concrete, it could break. <laughs> so, all right. We're going to put that right over there. And now to this. This is the most difficult piece. So on one side, where you've got the S for Singer, there are two nuts. And they fit. They fit in there. And they will come out. They are going to come out. On the other side, you've got a hole where your two wires go in, okay? And you've got, there's the two uh, screws where we're going to unscrew them. So we're going to take this, we're going to unscrew this, we're going to remember that those uh, uh, nuts will come out. I've got my finger on it, just like this, so it can't push up and let go and then just spin freely. Um... I'm going to try to get that to come out. Sometimes they can be a pain. Don't get in a hurry and do something that will break it. There we go. Okay, this Bakelite isn't too hard to break. Now I'm going to take these two and I'm just going to put them back together. So that uh, they don't get... So it's easier to find them. I don't have to dig so much for them. Put it on there a good bit and put it in there. And we're going to take this one apart. Now this is where everything gets a little hairy. <laughs> because this whole thing's liable to just come apart. Just Everything's liable to just fall out. Well, I don't need that. <laughs> everything's liable to just fall out. As soon as I undo this, if I can get my screwdriver back in there. Okay, that should be it. Okay. I'm gonna, before I take that apart, put this back, this one together, so that I don't have to do a lot of searching for the two pieces. If I find one, I found the other one. Okay. Now, sometimes these can be tough to get apart, and sometimes they just fall apart. Regardless, you need to be careful. This one came apart pretty easily. Okay. There's nothing else that holds it, but you want to be careful not to break it. Now, let's look at a couple of things. Luckily, this one didn't come, didn't fall out. Okay, I want you to look at how these are put in there. You've got these little screws here. They are facing the outside. This part that sticks out, it's facing the inside. I've seen people try to put these together the wrong way. You will break that, okay? If you put, if you, when you go to put this back together, you turn this the other way and you try to tighten it down, you will break it. It's not made to fit in there like that. Now, see, this one's already coming out. I didn't want it to come out yet. They fit in a specific way. They're made for those bolts, and those bolts fit in there a specific way. Now, another thing you need to notice is the wire. Whoop. The wire comes out the bottom of this. So hopefully you can see that. I need to get, what I need to do is get some more light on the subject. That's what I need. Okay. So, um, you see, it, it's hard to see on this one how the wire goes into the bottom. The wire goes into the bottom. So when I pull this out, you're gonna see that that wire is on the bottom of this, okay? It fits in the bottom, it's made to do that. And you see a lot of open bare wire here and it's separated. Even though you see the bare wire, it's separated from the other bare wire by the mold of this plug. So that's just fine, that's no big deal. Okay, now. I wanna explain this to you so it's easy to understand, hopefully so that you understand this. Um, you have three connectors and you have four wires, right? So you have two wire sets and there's two wires in each one. So I want you to take notice on this here, here, and here. So we're gonna call this one the right, this one the left, and this one the center, okay? We're going to move this down out of our way. Now, 
this what would have was the bottom wire went to the foot pedal that I have undone. Okay. The other one goes to the power cord. The top one is the power cord. Okay, so this is the power cord. This is the foot pedal. Now, this one that was on the right, it has two wires hooked to it. One comes from the foot pedal. Okay, the other comes from the power. Okay. Now, over here on the left, it has one wire, and that wire comes from the power side, okay? And then, so that's three wires, so then all we have is the fourth wire, which is the center, which would come from where? The foot pedal, because we have a foot pedal and a power wire here, a power wire here, and then the last one is a foot pedal, okay? So very important to remember, we have power, foot pedal, foot pedal, power, okay? Um, I hope that makes sense. Let me know in the comments if that makes sense to you uh, because we've got to take this, we've got to take all this completely and totally apart and then put it back together. So first things first, sometimes you can undo these by, ow, ow. You can undo these by hand and if you're wondering why I jumped about, that wire right there. And it got me. So you got to be careful of that. Um, sometimes you have to use pliers and get this apart. Just be very careful not to tear these ends up. Okay. Now, this is not how these are normally put together. Okay. These are normally put together similar to the other ends I showed you um, and soldered. And they're not done like this where you've got one attaching down here. So someone has worked on this at some point. All right, so I'm gonna just put those back together right there. And these have a certain way they go on and we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, I'm gonna take this one apart. <laughs> and we're gonna take this one apart. Okay. All right, so those are apart. Now we'll you know what? The easiest way to do this, because this wire is no good, just cut it. Just cut it. And we're done. And the rest of this, because we're not going to reuse this, this can be pulled apart. You can get this out. A lot of times when you start working on it, getting it out, it will just disintegrate. These two pieces here just kind of collapse in on each other. Um, they're usually stuck pretty hard. And then the wire is soldered to them, okay? So uh, reusing this is, yeah, pretty much not going to happen um, because it normally tears it up pretty bad. So we're going to take that and we're going to get rid of, oh, well, let, let's talk about wire links first. So your foot pedal wire on this one, okay, is four foot long, all right? Whoops. This one's four foot long. This one, the power wire, power, power wire is eight and a half foot long. Okay. Um, so we're going to make the links comparable on that. All right. But we're going to get rid of this, get, get it out of the way. So it's gone. And clean up our mess a little bit. All right, so I've got the new wire here and we're going to cut a four foot piece of it, okay? I got a four foot piece here. Now, I told you the other one was eight and a half foot. This is actually nine foot, so that's going to make this whole thing is nine foot, all right? So rather than eight and a half, it's nine. And we're going to start working on this. You need to remember which one to switch, okay? Um, if you need to take some tape and mark them or whatever, you do whatever you got to do. But you need to make sure that you know which one's going to be the power, which is the shorter one, and which one's going to be 
or excuse me, I'm already messing up. Which one's going to be the power, which is the longer one, and which one's going to be the foot pedal, which is the shorter one. So now what we're going to do is we are going to cut these right down the center at about an inch and a half. Okay, each one of them. Okay, so I split these about an inch and a half, and then I took about an insula inch of insulation off the ends of each one of them. I know that that seems like, oh my God, that's kind of extreme, but you will see when we get in here, it's really not extreme. Um, if you do happen to have a little bit extra, you can cut it off or whatever, but be very careful because this takes a good bit of bare wire to do this. If you don't, if you don't uh, have enough bare wire, you're gonna have problems. So um, now just again, very important to understand which one of these is which. Okay, so I'm gonna take the shorter one. And again, the shorter one is the foot pedal. And I'm gonna drop it right down here in front of the table here. Um, and then the other one I'm going to leave up on the table. In fact, actually, I don't want this to keep falling on me. So I'm going to just kind of wrap it around where my, what's holding my camera stand. So that it doesn't keep trying to fall out of my hands. Okay. But anyway, I know that's my power now. Now, I need to put this back on. Here, um, I'm gonna have to get all that together. Get this to go in just like that. Okay. And then again, I gotta make sure that I know which one of these is which. Um, and I want, I got that turned wrong. That's the way that I want it, so. Try this again. Okay. All right, now. So what I'm trying to do when I'm being picky about it is because I want it the same way as it was when I took it apart, mainly because it'll help me to make sure that I'm doing it right and I don't have to try to remember so hard. So the inside one is the uh, foot pedal. The outside one is the power, the one that's gonna plug in, okay? All right, so the right one over here was the one that had two wires. It had a uh, it had a power wire and a foot pedal wire. So I'm going to take these, separate them here if I can. Remember, I told you this can be difficult. This is where difficult starts. Okay. Try to get them at about the same place so that they're kind of even here. And we're just going to twist them up. Okay. <coughs> just like this. <laughs> and we're going to twist them really tight. We want them tight, tight. We don't want these stragglers hanging out because stragglers hanging out like that, like that one was, can cause a short, okay? And that, you do not want a short in these. Cause you a lot of problems. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get twisted up real good there. Now, it doesn't matter which one of these you grab as long as you do everything else right with it, all right? So first of all, I wanna point out that on the bottom, there is a little cutout, you see that? That is made for the wire to go in. So and notice that I said it's on the bottom. So when we put it back in here, it'll be on the bottom and this is where the wire this is where the wire comes out or goes in okay so now that we have done that well wait just a second the nut 
has a specific way that it goes on, okay? The outside of it is flat, all right? You can see that this is flat. This side of it is concave, okay? So it's made to screw down, uh, screw down on the wire. Does that make sense? Let me know if that makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions. It's made for the wire to go here. It's kind of rounded, so it'll round over it, okay? Let me get back out of here. <coughs> so when we do this, that concave side will go just like this, okay? Concave side down, all right? So here we go. Now, we're going to do the one, this one here first. We're going to turn it so that where the wire is coming out. All right, and we're going to turn this around. And I don't quite have as much as I like. I'm already running short of wire. But it'll be okay. And as you can see, I've got this coming apart already. So I'm going to twist it back up. <coughs> okay. Try this again, wire in that little cutout, and we're going to run it around just like this. Okay, okay, we kind of got it run around there. You see, it's kind of sticking up, go back down. All right, now we got that on there, we got the concave side down. If you get the concave side down, it should fit pretty well. And we're going to tighten it up by hand. As tight as we can get it. Okay. And you want it tight. You do want it tight. Now I'm going to take... you got to be really careful here because you don't want to tear this up. All right, so I'm going to take a pair of needle nose pliers and I'm going to put it on the piece where a wrench would go, the square piece. And I'm going to take this, these, and put this on there and just carefully tighten it. Okay, I want this tight enough that it's not going to come apart. Now, it doesn't have to be dead tight. You don't have to kill it. You just want to make sure it's not going to come apart. So, now, you can see, maybe. The wire comes out of this little, uh, the wire comes out of this little uh, groove. Okay. Now, I want you to notice how it's bare. The length of this, okay? That's what you're looking for. Do not put this over this insulation because it will never work. When you go to put put it in here, okay, it's not going to work. There's not a lot of room right here. So this wire, just like it was when we took it apart, when we put it back together, it's going to be bare, okay? I know if you're an electrician or whatever, you're like, wait a minute, no, 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 you can't do that. Remember what I told you. This molded plug separates the wire, all right? I did say you don't want stragglers sticking out, right? So all that plays a part. I got a little, little straggler right here. It's going to be okay. It's not like sticking out anywhere. If I need to, I'll use my knife and cut it off, okay? Um, but this is the way this has to be done. It will not work any other way. All right. Now, I'm not going to worry too much. I'm not going to try to get it put in there right now. Because if I do, it'll just come out. So we're just going to let that sit there. But we know that this goes on the right. Okay. Now, the next one. We're going to do the center. 
And you remember what the center was? Tell me in the comments if you remember what the center was. Is it a power wire, power wire, or is it a where does the wire come off of the foot pedal? Let me know. Let me know what you think. Okay. All right. So it came off of the foot pedal. The center one comes off the foot pedal. The one in the far left comes off of the uh, off the power. So I'm gonna twist this up really good. Now, this was the hardest one, absolutely. And we got it on there pretty good, okay? Now, the others aren't quite as, uh, you got more flexibility in the others because you have one wire as opposed to two, all right? Very important to remember that. So you don't have to have as much bare wire showing. All right, so. This one's going to be the center, so it's actually it's actually going to uh, have to be the shortest. All right, so we're going to take it. We're going to put it through that groove, in that groove. We're going to twist this around, just like this. We'll get our nut, make sure the concave side goes in or down. We'll start screwing it together, maybe. This is not easy. It is difficult. I'm doing it pretty easily, but it's difficult. Okay. I just got a good amount of experience with it. I've got more wire there than what I really want, so... We're going to try this again. Now, this one, like I said, this is your shortest wire. So you want this one taken up pretty good. So I'm going to keep that in there this time. All right, so I'm, I've got it going. I've got some wire sticking out here. I want to make sure it's as far in there as possible. Okay, my... My preference would be for it to come out in the same place in that little cutout, okay? All right, there we go. Now I kinda, yeah, I goofed that up, damn it. I'll let this other wire slide around. So I'm gonna have to tighten it, untighten it, pull it back around. All right, and then try to tighten it up again. As I'm doing this, it's pulling out. I don't, I hate that, but okay. There we go. All right, I think I got it. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to tighten this one up just like I did the other one. I'm going to hold the square part where a wrench would go. If you've got a wrench that you want to put on this, feel free. Uh, it doesn't have to be super tight. You're not killing it. Like I said, you just want it tight enough that that wire is not going to slip out. Okay, and it doesn't take much. Doesn't have to be too tight to create that. Okay, that's about as tight as we're gonna get it. All right, so let's take a look at it. Take a look at what we got. Zoom in here. All right, so I think you can see I've got a wire going in. And it's in that cutout just barely, but it's there. Now I've got wire coming out, and it's coming out at that cutout. That's no big deal. It's all going to sit in the bottom, okay? And it'll be just fine. All right. 
Then we're gonna do the last one. This last one is what? What is it? Power wire. Wire. This is the second prong of the power wire. Twist it up. Okay. Get this. This one's gonna be a little bit longer because it's off to the side, but it doesn't have to be super long because we've only got one wire in here. We're only gonna have one wire in here, so there's plenty of room for one wire. But we do want it a little bit longer because this one's the shortest one. So we're going to, I'm gonna take it and I'm just going to place this just like this. Okay, so it's touching the plastic or the insulation. Now I'm gonna wrap this around. My main thing here is making sure that, uh, well, I'm gonna go a little bit more. Obviously the wire is in there, but also, well, that's not as long as I'd like it. So I'm gonna run it all the way up, just like this. Seems like I got a little bit shorter than I intended. And it'll stretch out here in a minute. Part of it will pull out. Okay. Run this around. Get the nut. Make sure we've got concave side in. I know you can't see what's going on. It's hard to see. Well, these things are small. So, and I've messed it up already. All right, I barely got it started. I'm gonna try to get it back in there. Nope, not gonna happen. Yeah, it can come out completely. So we're gonna do it again. Okay, so twist this thing up. Again, nice and tight. So it's as small as possible. Okay. Run it up here. Put it on. Ah. Wrap it. Come on. I put my thumb up here to hold that wire. That also makes it difficult for putting this on and twisting it. Tis a challenge. Am I getting on there right? Yeah, I'm getting on there right. Looks like I may be doing this a third time. Maybe not. There we go. Okay. I think I got it. Hot dang. I think I got it. Okay. So. Now you can see that this one isn't quite as long here, all right? But it will work fine. I've got this tight. Now I'm going to <laughs> tighten this just like I did the others because I don't want this wire pulling out. Worst feeling in the world is to be trying to put these back in this mold and one of these wires just pull out of, out of one of these little nuts. And then you've got to start all over. That really sucks. That's why I'm tightening them up like I am. Okay, not a lot of room. It's difficult to do. I don't know how many times I've already said that. Plenty. You get it, I'm sure, by now. I'm squeezing the wrong thing there. I think I've got it tight. Okay. 
I think we're tight. All right, now, so, now we just have to remember which one's which. You, as you can see, they look like a freaking cluster right now. So I'm gonna take the one that goes in the center, wire goes, wire goes down, okay? Wire goes down. And these are made. So they only fit a certain way. They're kind of squared on the sides. Okay, so there's only one way they'll fit. So you can see that there's very little room where the prong sticks in there. And this, between the hole and the, and the mold, right? There's very little room, so it's, it's in there like it should be. Underneath here, you can see that the plastic actually goes up underneath. Now, we need to hold this in there. We have to hold this and bring this one over. Wire on the bottom. Okay. This one can be difficult. <clears throat> then you fit that in there. And... Uh, it can be difficult to get in there. There's no two ways about it. It can be difficult to get in there. Okay? So now, you can see just like I explained on the other one, I've got it. Got a lot of bare wire. I could probably do with a little bit less bare wire, but not a lot, because I've got these two insulated wires coming up to a very narrow spot. Okay, so if you get those two narrow wires competing, you will lose what you're trying to get. Okay, now, this is the center one. I've already had it in. It should just fall right in. Should being the key word. Sometimes they don't. And you have to play with them. Okay. Again, do not try to put pliers or anything on it to force it. Don't try to force it with the with the top or you'll break it okay now i've got that now this other side this other one over here that i'm putting together wrong there we go turn it around the way it goes okay wire on the bottom i know you can't see it i'm sorry i'll show it to you if i can here in a minute okay so i got it Okay, so you can see how they're fitting there. From this angle, whoop, that one popped up. You gotta make sure it gets in there and it has to be in there correctly or you'll break it. Notice I'm seeing break a lot, because it will, all right? Now, so you see here, the center one's sitting on the plastic, the one on this side right here, it's got a good amount of bare wire sticking out because you have two of them there. And you've got to have room. This one over here, you've got a little bit of bare wire. Uh, you don't have to have that much bare wire. Okay, you can, that plastic can go up underneath this one. But there's no harm here. There's nothing, nothing's going to short out here. I have no stragglers, no stray wires, right? <clears throat> um, the wire that's bare is separated by the mold, by everything else. Now... Now, we're going to take the top. It's made very similarly, but it has less space where the wire goes. Okay. We're going to try to very carefully get it on. Okay. You heard it pop a little bit there. It was everything popping together. If you don't have that right... This will not, it will not come down together, okay? You see the side? The side's good. This side's good. The back's good. All of it has to be good. If it's not coming together flush like that, you've got a problem, and you better take it apart and fix it, because if you try to screw it down and tighten it, this will break. There is no give, none, okay? I can't stress that enough. Now, we're going to, I'm just going to dump these out here. 
because I gotta hold this together. And there's one of my screws right here that uh, I screwed it together so it's easy to find. So holding this together, <coughs> unscrewing this. Now, do you remember where the where the nut goes? So if you look there, you can see that's made for that nut to sit in there, okay? It just sits in there so it can't turn. So I drop that in there and I'm gonna put my finger over it and I'm gonna run the bolt up through there. I'm gonna start tightening it down. Maybe, we're getting it started. So I'm getting it started with my fingers, right? Because I just need to make sure I get it started. Now I can take my screwdriver now that's started. And you can do this however you prefer. Whatever works best for you. Okay? And I felt it come through. We're right there. All right. Next one. <coughs> that's not going to come apart now. I haven't made it extremely tight. I just tightened it so that it's holding it together. All right, whoop, put that in there too soon. Put the nut on the top, then the bolt. And tighten it. Okay, and so we got power and foot pedal, foot pedal, power, okay? That's the way it is. We've got all that put together. Now, I have two things left. I have to get ends put on this, so on this end, this is the foot pedal, so that I can put it into the foot pedal, and I have to get accordion put on here. So that's what we're working on next. All right, so we're getting ready to put this back together. I've already cleaned this up. I just mainly used a brush. I thought that was paint spray or something on there. Um, it's not. It was a little corrosion, aluminum corrosion on there. Um, you can see I've, there's a little bit right down in there. Anyway, I uh, took the brush, took it off, cleaned all the crap out of here. This doesn't have to be perfect. What, what's important is to make sure that... Um, Right here, these little tongs that stick up, okay? Those make contact with this right here. So this is a contact surface, this is a contact surface, making sure that they're clean. If there's any carbon buildup from arcing or whatever, then you need to take it off, you need to scratch it off, scrape it off, because that carbon can, uh, can uh, inhibit a good connection. Um, and it can cause more arcing, which can cause damage, okay? Um, when you're cleaning this, you've got two springs right here. I knocked this one off with my brush cleaning it, so make sure before you put this back together that both of these springs are on here, okay? And there's a little groove right there that they go in. Make sure when you pull this down before it hits bottom, Okay, those little tongs, tangs, or whatever that I was talking about right there, they make contact, make sure that they're making contact there, all right? If they're not, you need to adjust it. Um, if these are kind of bent up, then you can bend them down. Otherwise, you need to back the screw off a little bit and screw this out, or whatever needs to be done, you need to adjust it, okay? So that it goes most of the way down and then makes contact, all right? Now, we're gonna get the short cord, which is the one for the foot pedal, and we're gonna put these two pieces right here on it. They are completely closed. They don't slide on. You have to remove the, remove the uh, screw all the way. It's, they're like that for a reason. They're a little bit thicker than most of them, 
and the hole's a little bit smaller and it's made like that so that it properly fits this right here, okay? So that it tightens down. I told you how important that was to make sure it's tight. <clears throat> so now we're going to cut this. Now this, you've got a good bit of distance here, okay? Before you get out here, you don't, you don't want this split out here, So, you, but you can split it here. You're gonna split a couple of inches of this. It doesn't have to be exact. Just make sure that it's long enough. Okay, so I'm gonna take my knife, run right straight down. When you're doing this, you better be careful because if that knife slips, you'll cut your fingers, okay? So I'm gonna, now I've got that started. Keep it in the center and you can do this. If you get off to the side, when you do this, it'll split into the wire, okay? So just take your time, be slow, go slow with it. Make sure you get it, okay? Now let's see. So if I put this here, I've got the ends, which are gonna be about somewhere in there. I've got plenty of room, except on this one. Okay, this one, this one's not reaching real good. So we're gonna split a little bit more, just like that. Okay. And pull this up here, pull this over here. All right. And this one will be a little bit long. You can do one of two things. You can either leave it long. You can see this, how this kind of build up right there. Okay. You can leave it long or you can cut it off. Doesn't matter. Whatever you prefer. I normally just leave them long. All right, <clears throat> so we don't need we don't need a whole lot of uh, we don't need a whole lot of wire bared for this like we did the other. Um, you know, probably a quarter of an inch at the most. <coughs> so you can use wire strippers or you can use these if you if you use a knife like this. You need to be careful. Um, I just kind of put into it and roll it back and forth a little bit. Um, need to be careful for two reasons. Number one, cutting your thumb, all right? You don't want to cut your thumb. You push too hard and you'll cut your thumb, something slip. Secondly is you don't want to cut these wires. And these knives will cut wires very easily. You seriously go right through that wire. So when you're doing that, you put a lot of pressure on that. You cut right through that wire and into your thumb. So be careful with that, okay? I watch it. I don't know if you can see it or not. Put it on there about where I need it. Put a little bit of pressure and roll it back. Just kind of twist it back and forth a little bit like that. It goes in and I turn it. Do the same thing. You know, just like that. Now I'm going to grab it. And I'm going to pull. Okay. This one's a little bit short. So I'm going to do it again. It would probably work. I just don't like them that short. Okay. If you feel that wire, I just felt that wire there. If you feel that knife touch that wire, then stop. Get off of it. Twist this up. Get your end. <coughs> you need uh, some tools. You need some way to press this, to clamp this. I use... Uh, uh, this style, this is more for professionals, uh, in the field and electricians and stuff. You can use them. They're a little more expensive. You can also get the cheap ones at most stores. Okay. So I do a good bit of work. So I use the more expensive ones. All right. Shove the wire in. You can see it in there. Clamp it down. Just make sure it's not coming apart, not going to come out, okay? And we're good. Okay, next. That set. That on my way. Put it in, clamp it nice and tight, put 
drove here. Clamp it again. Make sure. Make sure it's not going anywhere. Okay. We're there. Okay. Now, we'll go ahead and put this together. I need my two screws. Get that out of my way. Find. There we are. There's my two screws. Make sure you can see this. Drop that through there and then get the screw started. Okay, so that one started. <coughs> get the next one started. All right, there we go. Now we'll tighten them up. Make sure that that goes in that little slot so that it can't move around. Okay. You don't need to kill it, tightening it. It just needs to be tight. You can see now here, the wire moves. This does not, okay? If this moves, then you can lose contact, and it's not. So we're good. <coughs> there we are, tight. And if you tighten these too tight, you will strip them out. Just FYI, okay? Now, <clears throat> we're going to take these, and we're going to put them back on, all right? So you've got to be careful. A lot of times, these will try to fall off. Need to get them on. That's the way they go. Okay. Now, this wire is going to go right here. See? That one's already fall, fell off. Okay. So this wire is going to go right here on top of this. All right. So, and that one was falling off. All right. So this is a, I'm going to take this. <clears throat> maybe I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this one over because I've got this in here okay I'm gonna turn this over and make sure it goes in that the wire goes in that slot now when you do this sometimes these will try to slide off so sometimes it can be difficult now this is a brand new wire I'm redoing everything Sometimes this can be difficult to get in. I'm very lucky this time because I'm not having a lot of difficulties with any of this. Okay. If you've got this in backwards, I told you some of these will go in backwards. If you've got this in backwards and you're trying to push this down, this will only go so far and it'll stop. Okay. If it does not go all the way down, you need to pull it out. I cannot stress enough. Do not, do not, do not force this stuff. If you force this stuff, you will break it 100%. All right. I'll put a screw in. And again, when you're screwing this down, you got to be careful. So I got just enough to start putting a little pressure on that. All right. Do it again here. Put a little pressure on it. Put a little pressure on it. And put a little pressure on it. Maybe. If I can screw this in. <laughs> okay. Now, <coughs> I'm going to squeeze this with my hands. Okay. Because I want, I want to squeeze it with my hands. And not these screws because these screws will break this. Okay, if 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 it if something on here gets stuck, these screws will pull it down tight enough to break it. So I'm going to push it with my fingers. Okay, make sure that's good, and we'll tighten it down a little bit more. Okay. 
and this one's a little bit tight. It was tight the whole way. That's fine. It's just a tight fit. Okay. Okay. All right. And so it doesn't really look like it from here. It looks like it's loose. It's not. Inside, those steps are holding it. I'm going to push that a little bit more and give it just a little bit, okay? Careful. Very, very careful. You put too much pressure on this and you will break it, okay? I promise you, either this tab will break or this will break. One of the two of them. You need just enough pressure that's going to hold it good. That's not going to move back and forth, okay? And put pressure on those fittings inside. So there we go. Now, next is for the cord end. Okay. This wire, these plugs, the ends. I've got all this in a kit. Uh, you can check the description or check up here in the corner. Um, it should be in both places. Um, there will only be one plug or the other, not both. Um, if you have a preference, you can pick. But uh, it's going to, for the most part, unless you pick, it's going to depend on what I have available at the time. If, if you want to buy them um, as well. If you don't want to do this, if you just want the cord just to hook it up with the molded end that can't come apart, then uh, I'll have that in there too. And you can get whatever you want, whatever works best for you. Okay, um, I'm going to show you how to do both of these. So whichever one you get, it's really easy. So the round one, you just need to take this off, take a screwdriver, a bolt, whatever, and just push in there. And it pushes straight out. Take it off. You're going to put your wire up through here and uh, cut it and strip it back. And it's going to hook here. This is the one that I'm actually going to do in a minute. Okay. I'm going to set that to the side a minute. I'm going to show you how to do this one. This one has screws. You got to take the screws out. You got to get the screwdriver to work first. Okay. So loosen the screws. Okay, then you need to push this out. Just like that and it flies apart. Okay, now, both the screws flew, I'm gonna have to find them. This one's a little simpler. You uh, put the wire up through there. You just strip a little bit of wire, wrap it around here. Tighten it down, both of them. Put it back together. Okay? Simple. The other one's a little tougher. It goes up through here. We're going to pull it. We're going to pull it up. We're going to uh, divide the wires. Strip them back. You're going to strip a little bit more. Um, and then come around here. Okay? I'm going to show you how to do this one in just a second. I got to find those two screws. All right. I got the screws, got to put away. Now, I'm going to uh, put this through here. All right, and uh, get my knife. I'm gonna cut this a little ways. Probably about an inch and a half. Make sure, make sure it's going to work. Mm, no, not quite, not quite far enough. So we'll go a little further. Let's do it this way. Okay. Okay, I 
got a little bit longer than what I needed there. That's fine. I can cut some of it off. No big deal. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm uh, wrapping this the way I am. Okay? The reason that I'm wrapping it like this is because if somebody grabs this and pulls on it from the cord rather than the plug, it's going to put pressure here rather than here on the wire, making it much harder to pull out. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, hold this here just like this. I can see kind of what I need for uh, for cutting for uh, wire, bare wire. So we're going to do it right about here. And I'll cut this one about the same spot. Just like that. Okay. <clears throat> now, on these, we've got to unscrew these, these screws a good ways. I don't know exactly how long they are. They're fairly long. As you can see, I've unscrewed it a good ways and it's still not coming completely off. It doesn't need to come completely off. It just needs to come far enough that uh, um, I can easily get under it, okay? If I can't easily get under this, then it's gonna be a pain in the butt to get this to work. It's a pain in the butt to wrap it if I don't. So, all right, I've got that in there. I'm wrapping this around, trying to wrap this around. Maybe. Now you can solder these a little bit if you want. I don't. Um, make it less likely for them for the strays to come off. All right. Make sure this is wrapped around there. And it's coming apart again. Normally it's not quite this hard. Okay, there we go. Get this underneath and around. Just like that. The main focus is no strays. And if you notice, the screw turns the same way that the wire is wrapped around it. Okay. So it will tend to pull the pull the wire into it as opposed to un, unravel it as I'm screwing it down. Make sure it's plenty tight. Okay. All right. Do this one the same way. Make sure this is spun up good, twisted up good. Just like that. Screwdriver. And loosen this way back. Okay. Pull this out. Make sure we get enough around here. Already got a straggler there. I think it's one where I cut. Uh, actually cut the wire with the knife. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not far enough around. 
pull that out around here we go hold my hold it with my thumb i think if i can i let it go so this is a little more difficult but you make sure that uh it's not going to get pulled out okay if somebody grabs that cord and yanks it's not going to pull it's not going to pull the wire out of the plug but yeah if you you can solder this and it might make it a little bit easier um i just don't i don't solder them but it might make it a little bit easier if you do if you're comfortable with soldering. <clears throat> okay, and then the main thing is make sure that there are no strays that are gonna come over here and contact the other pole. I got a few that I'm not real happy with, so make sure they're in there good okay that should do it all right all right so strays hitting them hitting its own pole is okay strays hitting the other pole is not make sure everything's good Everything looks good. Put this back together. The side with the little round marks goes down. And now you can see because the wires, the way I have the wires, it sticks up a little bit. That's fine, it's no big deal. That's gonna be plugged into the wall. Um, honestly, even if this was off, it's no big deal, but because it's plugged into the wall and nobody can get their fingers in there. Anyway, let's check this out and see what happens. Okay, so I've got it plugged in over here. I've got this plugged in here. Let's see if the light comes on. Light comes on. See what happens. There it is, works perfect. If you have any questions, put it down in the comments. If you need this kit or the other uh, other one that's already put together where you just wire it in here, uh, I've got a link down in the comments uh, or in the description or uh, uh, I may have one up here. Um, either way, you can order that from me and I will ship it out to you uh, usually within, within 24 hours. Okay, so... Uh, thank you for watching. Y'all have a great day. And again, if you have any questions, put it down in the comments. Thanks.